Hello again, Dr. Vanessa. Hi, Alex. Whoa, looks like you've brought in some really interesting things to show us. I think so. You see, some days I spend a lot of time above water and other days I'm underwater. So I thought you might like to see some of my underwater equipment. Mm, yes, please. Wow, isn't that amazing? Most people when they go to work don't dive under the water, do they? So if I am free diving, that's with no air tank. I'll put on my mask like this and then I'll put on my fins. Whoa, you must have really big feet. No, Alex, my feet just go in here. <laughs> my fins are really long so I can swim like a whale. Ah. And then I take a really big deep breath and I dive down to have a sticky beak. Just holding your breath? Yep. But more often than not, I'm on a boat with my very special whale camera like this, taking photos of whales. I'm just in love with hmm. whales. Yeah, me too. Do you like whales? Vanessa, can we see some of your pictures, please? Absolutely. Whoa, did you take that? Yes, this is a humpback whale. Humpback whales are very curious and playful. And sometimes humpback whales like to jump out of the water. This is also called a breach. And as they come back down, they make an almighty splash on the surface so that other whales might hear them. Wow, that's fantastic. And this, this is Winston. He's a humpback whale. Isn't he adorable? Yeah, definitely adorable. <laughs> he has two really big flippers, one here and here, and a dorsal fin on the back, and a really big tail known as his flukes. And did you know that whales also have a belly button and they have hair? Belly buttons and hair? Did you know that? I didn't. Yep, <laughs> and they also make a number of different sounds. One of the sounds they make is like this. And then sometimes they sound like this. Whoa, that's fun. Would you like to make a sound like a whale too? You ready? Again. There's also another sound that they make when they come to the surface to breathe air. It sounds like this. <sighs> their nose is located on top of their head so they can breathe air when they come to the surface. This is a picture of a blue whale taking a breath at the surface. How cool is that? That's very cool. But a nose on top of their head. Yes, which is why my team and I use drones, just like this, to fly over a whale's nostrils and wait for them to go and spurt their whale snot. This is the drone above a whale. And we can see the drone is ready as the whales take a breath and then there's the snot and then snap shut goes the petri dish lid. That's great. So what's so interesting about whale snot? Well, it's like giving a whale a checkup at sea. We're acting like whale doctors. Ah, and what can be harmful to the whales? Rubbish. This is why it's so important to put our rubbish in the bin so it doesn't end up in the ocean. Plastic is really bad for sea creatures because they could become tangled in it, or even worse, they might eat it. Oh, yuck. And even balloons. Yes. Everyone loves balloons at a party, but it's very important you do not release them into the air because it could end up in the ocean and a sea turtle might eat it. Can you remember the special rhyme about collecting rubbish at the beach? Take, Take three, three for, for the, the sea. sea. Dr Vanessa, thank you so much for coming in to visit us today. Thanks for having me, Alex. Now, before you go, can you show us how to be a crab scuttling along the sand? Sure thing. Ready? Scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. Scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. Scuttle, scuttle. Oh, should we use the orange or the, or the fluoro green, do you think? Wait. Oh, hi, I'm Leah. I'm just hanging with Scrap. We're doing some crafts. You can subscribe for more Play School content and head to ABC iView for full Play School episodes. How's that? Oh, it's pretty good. It is, Scrap. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> bye. Bye. Yeah, bye. What should we do? I think. Blue rose. You like the orange?